quieres blanco o chocolate? Chocolate, por favor. Walk the halls of Northwoods International School and you will hear students and teachers busily dialoguing in Spanish as they complete their math, science, and social studies lessons. The classrooms are part of the school's Spanish Partial Immersion Strand, where students receive nearly half of their daily instruction in Spanish. Second grader Madison Ryan explains. We have a little sign now. Solamente en español is just Spanish, and español is la lengua preferida. As is in English, you can talk in Spanish, but it's mainly English. Tres, cuatro, me voy a un teatro. Cinco, seis, mueve los pies. The Partial Immersion Program was launched during the 2011-12 school year in response to a growing desire in the community for such a program. The goal of the Spanish Immersion Program is to develop competence in a really young age in students. We know from research that when students um, learn a language in this way, that they learn it um, more completely, that they have a much higher level of competence in the language. What does a typical day look like in a Spanish partial immersion classroom? In the mornings is when we do our reading groups, our reading centers, and our writing. So all of our language arts, which is our English um, content, is taught in the mornings. The kids know that when they come in in the afternoons, it's going to be pretty much Spanish from, from the start. So we do our quiet reading, and then we go into our calendar, our math. Um, they have a break for specials, and they come back, and we do our science and social studies completely in Spanish. Our day is very routine oriented, so the kids know certain parts of our day will always be in Spanish. I'll be speaking in Spanish, they'll be expected to respond in Spanish, and once they are in that routine, then they're comfortable with it and are able to use more Spanish. Beckstrom recently completed a science lesson on balance with her class. We learned the word balancing in Spanish, equilibrio. There's another thing that we used, una barra de equilibrio. Y el fulcro. It's like a seesaw that we make. And what we do is we put one thing on one side and one thing on the other side and try to make it balance. El jugo es un líquido, sólido o gas. Líquido. Líquido. And how do the teachers ensure that students are learning the material despite an emerging Spanish vocabulary? There's a lot of ways that we teach, a lot of ways we communicate, and you'd be surprised how much communication is done kinesthetically by movement and gestures, and, and with uh, the math content, students are picking up the math content very easily once they learn the basic num numbers in Spanish, and at the same time, they're learning Spanish, so it's very cool. Beckstrom agrees. We use a lot of visual cues, lots of actions, PowerPoints, hands-on activities to make sure that they're understanding the concepts and learning the language. One may wonder if the students are progressing at the same speed as their peers in a traditional classroom. Absolutely. I would say they're progressing at the same pace that they have in the past when I've taught the same curriculum, the same materials. Immersing the students in the language has definitely expanded their Spanish vocabulary and speaking skills. First grader, Nate Schilling. Perro, gato, y casa. Dog, cat, e means and, house. Hola, adios, por favor, espanol. That's been very exciting to see them using Spanish in the classroom and using it outside of school too. I teach my mother. I've been working on it. She isn't catching up fast and I'm teaching her though. And the exciting thing for teachers is that students are speaking in Spanish even when they are not required to. Tatiana, ¿qué quieres? Um, yo quiero una fiesta mexicana. That's my favorite part actually is just, I would say the last month or two, they're really starting to get the hang of it. And I'm catching just little snippets of Spanish here and there. And, and they'll use words that I don't even realize I've taught them, but they've heard me say. 
And they'll, they'll say that to their peers. My favorite is when they tell each other, no hablen, in a very serious voice. But it's great to see that they're using that. First grader Micah Steinhoff likes to refer to his specialist classes by their Spanish names. I know what P.E. is in Spanish, and it's A.F.A. To date, parents have been thrilled with the program's offerings and their children's expanded language skills. I have yet to have a single parent who's unsatisfied, and they all kind of tell me they're very impressed with what their child can do. They say they really underestimated what their child could do, and now that they're seeing it, they're just blown away by what these six and seven year olds are able to accomplish. Mueve los pies in inglés. Tessa? Um, like feet. Parents interested in learning more about the Northwoods International School's Spanish Partial Immersion Program should call the school at 608-789-7000 to learn about the program's application process that begins in February for the upcoming school year. Brower also encourages parents to visit the school. Come and take a tour of the building and spend some time in an immersion classroom. I would encourage them to talk to other parents uh, whose students have been in the immersion program so they can uh, ask those questions firsthand. 